Hello, my name is Felix Klebe, Marketing Manager for Omron Automation Americas. Thank you for taking the time to view our web link tutorials that are designed to help you get started with maximizing the value of your MicroHawk barcode reader. As a web-based UI interface for a popular family of barcode readers and smart cameras, WebLink has a number of functions that can help you solve your application quickly and easily. In this tutorial, we'll give you some background on Format Output, a function that allows you to modify decoded barcode data by inserting or extracting portions of decoded strings. The Format Output feature can act as a filter criteria for evaluating the success or failure of a read cycle. If a barcode contents does not match a filter, is the wrong symbol type, or different than a specified length, then the read cycle will result in no read, just as if no symbol was decoded at all. Under the Output String section, the user can define a filter based on the symbol type, data, length, and database index association number. The second area to configure is Symbol Parsing, where a user can define a custom output format via Insert Text and Extract Characters. It's important to note that one set of match filter, symbol type, and length may be assigned to each barcode symbol type. However, string extract and string insertion are applied to all barcode types. Let's take a look at where you can find format output in the user interface. In the lower left, below match string, you'll see a toggle switch where you can turn off or turn on format output. In this case, we would turn on format output and then look at the output formatting editor. Here's where you'll find the ability to add preamble or postamble characters. So in this case, we've enabled the checkbox for both preamble and postamble, so those will be added to the output string. For our selection rule, we have added a data matrix symbol type. This can be changed to other symbol types, so if you were looking for a code 39 or some other type, you would change it to that symbol type. The data String here, 3901, indicates we're looking for any symbol that begins with 3901. We've indicated an asterisk as the wildcard character, meaning that after the 3901, any data can be present and we'll still select this particular filter. Below, we have the symbol parsing rules. Here, we're extracting characters 1 through 4, followed by characters 6 and 7, and then we're inserting a text, in this case, backslash R. So the example shows if a barcode was reading 3901310, we extracted the first four characters, we skipped the fifth character, and then we added the one zero, followed by the backslash R. Additional capability within barcode format output is replacements. We will remove the replacement that was added earlier, and then as we trigger the reader, you can see we have found that symbol and we have parsed the data as indicated in our parsing rule. Coming back to replacements, you can see that we have a character 3 that is being replaced by a character 4, and now when we trigger the reader, we are not finding the 3901 because the character 3 was replaced by the character 4. So instead of 3901, we are seeing 4901, and we are not applying the filter or finding the barcode that is in the field of view. It's important to note that this functionality um, can be used to define multiple filters, and the symbol parsing defined below applies if the filter definition matches a read, just like in the match string editor. The filter is merely a way to choose which barcodes to apply the symbol parsing rules to. Up to 30 parsing rules can be applied and the result will display in the parsing result box. That's it for format output. Thank you for your time and we look forward to sharing further information with future weblink videos.